Amateur photographers' social media accounts are really taking flight with photos of local crows. Colleen Wilson, also known as the crow photographer, joins us now with more on this. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So where did your love of crows first come from? I think I have been a big fan of crows and ravens my entire life. Um, spent a lot of time with family up in northern Manitoba, and of course the ravens up there, are, they're a pretty big deal. And I think that's where I, I first really started to gravitate towards them. And then uh, I picked up my first DSLR when I was living in Burnaby and really decided that I wanted to learn how to use my camera on on a subject that was abundant in my my environment, <laughs> and the crows complied. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Now, you photograph many crows, but that's not all you're photographing. That's true. Uh, having moved over to Vancouver Island two years ago, I have decided to stretch my proverbial wings as well, and I've started photographing things like eagles and whales and the absolute stunning natural beauty of this place that I get to call home. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I was on your some of your social media accounts, and the pictures are beautiful, but I want to know a little bit more about Dave. What can you tell us about Dave? Dave the Crow. He was really um, my first solid, solid connection with a crow. I was living in Burnaby at the time, uh, right across from Edmund Skytrain Station, and this is where I got that first DSLR camera. And uh, decided I was going to start taking pictures of crows, and as it happened, there was a family of crows that lived in uh, this stand of tall trees on, our, on the property that I lived on. And so I started to befriend this, this crow, and this crow responded incredibly. And I probably worked with Dave over a period of about seven years, and it got to a point where every year he would bring his, his new family members and introduce and I, I was able to get so close to him, it was absolutely incredible. They would meet me over at the SkyTrain, I was a SkyTrain commuter at the time, mm -hmm. and Dave and his crew would meet me there when I was coming home from work, and they would fly beside me all the way over to the apartment building. Dave was a very special crow, he holds a big place in my heart. I think we were looking at some pictures of him and he was beautiful, beautiful news to have. So finally, uh, your social media accounts are becoming very popular. When did that, when did you start noticing that? Um, it's, you know, I think I've been on Twitter probably almost 10 years now, and it started to pick up speed pretty quickly, um, creating this international crow community. But really over the last couple of years, there's just been this incredible growth. Um, in particular, I think, mentioning my, my Instagram and my Facebook accounts, really over the last year there's been an explosion there. Yeah, people want to get away from it all in your beautiful pictures to take us away from the current pandemic and just imagine a little and grow some wings like you were saying and be imaginative. Thank you so much for your time and your beautiful work. That's Colleen Wilson, also known as the Crotographer. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stay with us.